So guys, there's another approach um, towards uh, another approach for femoral hernia repair. All right. Um, if you have um, uh, patients with some um, complications for femoral hernia repair, this there's another what alternatives uh, for basically we're trying to repair these femoral hernias, right? And that's what we call the Lockwood's infrainguinal approach surgery for femoral hernia repair. Lockwood's infrainguinal. Anytime you hear infrainguinal, what does it come to your mind? Anything infra means what under inguinal. That means it is what below the inguinal ligament okay so this is what the lockwood you could call it a low approach or an infra inguinal approach for femoral hyena repair so we'll go to uh, go through the procedures uh, go through the advantages that this approach has over other approaches uh we go uh, to the indication okay like um situations where you need to actually what use this okay then you go to the contra indications okay that's where you shouldn't use this okay then you go to about what special consideration okay so let's go through uh we said that the lockwood infra inguinal uh, approach is a surgical technique which is used to repair femoral hyenas right so here is an overview of the whole procedure all right so uh lockwood infra inguinal procedure should be down here below the inguinal line okay uh yeah okay rest of lock wood so an incision a small incision about three to four centimeters is made below the inguinal ligament um, just above the femoral sac I'm coming all right okay uh, okay it is below the inguinal ligament but just above the femoral hyena sac. Do you understand? So like in between, okay? So probably the hyena is just down here, to be in between, okay? Uh, the hyena sac reduction, the hyena sac is gently reduced back into the abdominal cavity repair. Uh, the defect in the femoral canal is repaired using a non-absorbable mesh or suture material. Closure, the incision is closed in layers, usually with what? Absorbable sutures. Okay, so that means you need to use an, a non-absorbable mesh, but when you want to close the layers now, you use absorbable sutures so that the body can heal back properly. Now, I know that this would be one of the advantages, okay? So, this, uh, the advantage is now, it has a less post-operative pain, okay? That's after the operation, there's less complications of pain. Uh, the smaller incision, the incision is smaller, Okay compared to other traditional approaches there's also lower risks of wound complications okay there's a faster recovery time okay uh, cosmetic benefits due to what a smaller scar so you'll be having like just a smaller scar right so uh, you still be maintaining your seeds <laughs> that's what we call it over here all right so you still be maintaining uh that's how your body you should look at that area okay Indications like in situations where you should use this. Um, uh, primary femoral hyenas. Um, they are recurring femoral hyenas too, all right? Then also small to moderate size what hyenas. Okay? So if you have a small to moderate size hyenas, then you should always what use this. Okay. Then what are the contraindications? Situations where you shouldn't be using this if the hyenas are large. That's why it's have small to moderate hyenas. So if the hyena is large, you don't use this. If you have a complex hyena, you don't use this, okay? If you have a sliding or incarcerated hyenas, you don't use this, okay? Then you have patients with significant comorbidities like other problems, you don't use this, okay? Then what are the special considerations? Um, Anatomical knowledge of the femoral canal and the surrounding structures is crucial for this type of surgery. Careful dissection and handling of tissues are necessary to avoid complications, all right? Mesh selections and placement are critical for successful repair, right? To avoid reoccurrence, all right? So that's a lot good infra-inguinal approach surgery for femoral hyena repair. See you guys pretty soon.